Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing something very exciting. I was going to sketch it out first, but not feeling that, so we're going to wing it today. And today I'm going to be creating an optical illusion using these Posca pens, more specifically only these five colors of Posca pens. I'm very excited for this one. I really hope it turns out because otherwise it's going to look like a mess and not an optical illusion which would really defeat the whole point of this video. So I'm starting out with a black Posca pen and I have to get it started since I've never used it before. So I'm gonna just hit it a bunch of times really against this canvas board. And once the black ink started finally coming out, it was time to start creating swirly shapes all over the canvas. As I said before, I was going to first plan all of these swirls out with a pencil. However, I just felt like that was going to be a lot of work and it really doesn't need to be that precise. This one's supposed to be fun, it's not really that serious, and I think it should be something anyone can do. So if you're interested in trying to create an optical illusion, hopefully you enjoy this. This can be kind of a tutorial for you to create some crazy, mind-blowing effect. The first step is to add all of these random swirly lines that were honestly getting pretty confusing. I put little black X's inside of the lines that are supposed to eventually be colored in. That way, hopefully, I don't get too confused later because this will get a little confusing. It's definitely an optical illusion from the start. After I added in all of these crazy random lines all over the place that kind of didn't really make a lot of sense, it was getting really unclear as to what lines were supposed to be what, but that's okay because once I started coloring everything in, it started to make more sense. So after I drew all of the lines, I then filled all of the lines with the X's in with the black acrylic marker pen brush Posca. <laughs> The word Posca was not coming to me just then, but it did now, so moving on, I took a long time to fill in all of these lines completely black. Something weird that kept happening was the Posca kept leaving little open spaces of white, even though I'd colored it in, so I had to go over them a few times, but that's okay. It all turned out in the end, and it was worth the time that it took to fill it all in. Also, it's making a lot more sense now and it's pretty satisfying to watch it start coming together before it just looked like a whole bunch of random ugly squiggles on a page. And now it's kind of looking like we can make an optical illusion out of it. So I'm pretty excited about it at this point and I hope that the rest of it is user friendly and doesn't take too much effort or precision because I might be in over my head. And doing all of that one time wasn't enough for me, so I decided to do it again. Not one more time, but two more times. So this is me doing that whole process for the black again on this one, and then I also do it on one more canvas of the same size of this. Did this because I wanted to have three different sections or different like optical illusion paintings that went together that I could hang together in my house. So that's why I created like this tri-fold kind of design with it, but they don't connect anywhere or anything. I just wanted to do it three times and hang them up next to each other is basically what I'm trying to say. I also made sure to complete all of these canvases by bringing the lines down onto the sides so that way it looked complete and it looked like the pattern kept continuing beyond the point of the canvas. And here is the third and final canvas getting its little squiggle designs with the X's and then finally being colored in completely. These all took a crazy amount of time to do for just some black lines, but it's already looking kind of cool. It already kind of has like an optical illusion vibe, so I was pretty happy with that. Now, here comes the optical illusion part. As I said before, you need four colors. You need dark blue, light blue, red, and yellow. So I started off with the dark blue, and for this, you are going to put it on the left side of any of your lines. So if any of the lines have a left side to them, you're going to color in the left side 
with the blue, just a line down that side, blue. So this did get a little confusing. I was questioning what was right and left, where the blue needed to go. It was definitely challenging to start off. This is the hardest part though, because once you put the blue down, you'll know where the other colors go. So if you can get through the struggle of what your left and right is and where to put the dark blue on the left, then you can do the rest of this optical illusion definitely. Once I had done my absolute best in trying to get all of the dark blue on the left side of these lines, it was time to move on to the light blue. So for the light blue, it's a lot easier. You put it on top of any of the areas where you put dark blue. So if you did the dark blue right, now you just follow it up with the light blue and put the light blue over or next to the blue lines that you did on the left of all of the black lines. See, now it's getting a little bit crazy. Now it's getting a little bit tongue twister. Now, is it getting a little more of an optical illusion? Um, I really hope so. Now that we're already headfirst into this project, let me actually tell you what this optical illusion is even supposed to do. So for this illusion, it's supposed to make the image look blurry. So at the end of this, when you try and look at it, it should look like it's blurred almost, like the lines are blurry and that the picture's blurred. Did that happen? I'm not sure. You'll have to let me know. I stared at them for way too long to know if it worked. But then I moved on to the red and for the red, you put it on the right side of all of the black lines. So anywhere that the blue basically isn't is where you put the red lines and then on top of the red lines or next to them on the right, you then go in with the yellow just like the light blue was for the dark blue. Am I making any sense? I don't know, you might have to decode this and figure it out, but after that, that's all that you have to do to make the illusion happen. I do think it started to happen. Again, I think I paid way too much attention to it to truly be able to tell if it was working or not. So I tried to eyeball it a couple times and I also made a few adjustments, touched up the black, touched up the lines, and hopefully that made it a bit more clear as to what was supposed to happen. This is what it looked like before and that's the after. So now it's time to do the two little canvases. I just repeated all of those steps on the little canvases. So dark blue, light blue, red, yellow, and then they were complete. This is the final look. Let me know if you think they look blurred. Be sure to like and subscribe and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.